As you can see, we've got Unity 11.04 on the desktop. And you're saying, I thought you was having Zubuntu, Snooky. Oh, that's on the other machine, isn't it? You plonkers. Right, the reason we've got this, <clears throat> excuse me, on this dual-core machine, 2 gig dual-core, not core 2 duo, dual-core, we're going back in time, baby, is Snooky Gale and some of her friends, they like the interface of Unity, and they wanted it, blah, 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 in their own personal computers. Now I said to them, well, it's not totally stable just yet. Because it wasn't, it was terrible for me, especially on this this sort of age of a machine, which most of them have got really, in their rooms and stuff. Because uh, you know, obviously, we're not all rich like some people can afford lots and lots of stuff. So we build stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so last night I thought I'll get this old machine out. I didn't like what was on anywhere anyway, so I thought right, we'll give it another install, give it one more chance, third time lucky. And you know what? So far, so good. The first couple of times after I've updated it and put the drivers on. It was a bit, ooh, it was thinking about doing stuff, but now, it's not too bad. I'll open the Fox up. It's reasonably sprightly. It's not super duper, but it's reasonable, okay? I'll just type in the BBC, and we're heading over, <clears throat> just to make sure everything's hunky-dory. It's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. It says yes to me. It does the job. Now, recording, on the other hand, it can be a bit hit and miss if it's in screencasting. So I won't be able to tell you until I've done this video, will I really? But I'll tell you what, I'll open the music player, my favourite Guadi Q, see, it comes up quite quickly. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, it's not super duper, but it does the job. Plays very nice, that's why I like it. So yeah, I'll put that box in there one there. Right, so that's, that's better though, and why this is on this machine, and why this is in this video. Right, secondly, yes, I'm saying secondly, all the detractors from Unity and Gnome 3, right? <clears throat> right I hold my hands up high. When they first announced it and I first tried it, I was one of the first to say I didn't like it, right? Because I didn't. It just wasn't for me. Now, as time's gone on, as I've said in a previous video, and it's, you know, it's not so uh, buggy, shall we say, it's, you know, it's okay, you know. It's, I'm still, it's not my, my, my favourite, but I can use it. It's, it's usable. You ask anybody between the ages of 12 and 18, and they will prefer it, really, if they're normal people. We're not talking about people like us, you know. You know, you know people I'm talking about, yeah, you know what I mean. But ordinary school kids and people like that, they will love it because it's just point and click. It's pictures. They even got to read, have they? Look. It's just like, over here, look. It's just pictures of stuff. No reading required. Blimey, you know, a bit like calculators, you know, no maths required, you know what I mean? Makes it too easy for them, really. As you can see, I've took um, LibreOffice off anyway. I've just put Abby Word and Genie Remote because I don't really use the other two, really. So, yeah, that's one of the reasons. Now, you can say as much as you like, but it's progress. And progress has happened throughout the evolution of the human race. And computers, for instance. Now, come on, we'll go back in the day. If we go back into the Windows world, do you remember Windows 95, some of you? Yeah? Yeah? Can you say yeah? And then it went to Windows 95. Oh, yeah, oh, it's not much different. Then it started to change, didn't it? If you was a Windows user. And then when it got to bleed and XP, blimey, everybody hit the wall. God! Then yeah. that lasted for ten years. They changed the Vista. And all up in arms again. People are still using it. Nobody moans about it anymore. It's gone to Windows 7. And it's in the Windows world. Now, exactly the same has happened in the Linux world as well, as you will know. From KDE 3.5 to KDE 4. That people went up in the air. Remember, GNOME's been around 10 years. I've said before, I've been around 10 years. So, of course, we've got used to using GNOME. Why, why wouldn't we? E17, the desktop is in constant evolution. Do you know what I mean? It's always on the go. But like, give this another two releases, Unity and Gnome Shell, for, for instance, as well, Gnome 3, and I think all the bugs will be sorted out and it'll be a lot more sprightly and usable. Yeah, that's right. Usable. Okay. That's a little rant out of the way. I've got some more videos in the pipeline for you, so let them up in a day or two. There's more on Haiku. 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 A bit later as well. I've got the install of Legacy OS. Well, yeah, or Legacy 2 OS, whatever you want to call it. And so I was, oh, you have on Sabi on as well, what I'm doing, and I've got some others on in the pipes as well. They should all be up by Friday, so you'll have another one tomorrow. Okay, that's enough from me. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye.